welcome back. Happy 2021. It has been a heck of a year last year. 2020 is officially in the rear view mirror. Thank the Lord. 2021 is gonna be so much better. Not that 2020 was terrible, at least not for me. It wasn't horrible. I know a lot of people, it really devastated. Uh, I was one of the fortunate ones where even though things definitely changed for us, especially as far as homeschool and being at home a lot more, I was fortunate in that it didn't really, it wasn't really life altering for me. 2021, new year, clean slate. It's a refluff, a refresh. I love a new year. I love setting goals. I love crushing those goals way more than I love setting them. I love planning out the year. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be new, and I'm excited. So I thought that this video, I could give you the tips that I kinda use in my daily, weekly, monthly, goal setting, planning routine. The tips that I use to crush the goals, basically. I have things written down so that I don't really forget all of it, but I have it broken down into about 10 goals that really, really help me in getting everything done. So, tip number one, write your goals down. I know everyone says it, I know, basic. Write them down, make a list, but go one step further. Break them down into steps to achieve that goal. So for example, if your goal is to lose X amount of pounds in X amount of months, break that down. Break it down into how many pounds per month, break that down into per week, and then break down your week into your weekly workouts, daily workouts, weekly meal preps. If you break them down and you put it in a planner, it is going to help you massively. It is going to simplify each goal and it's already there for you. It's like a map of how to get to each goal. Speaking of planners, let's get into tip number two. Have a planner, people. There are so many planners out there. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Target, you can go to TJ Maxx, you can go to the high-end stores. Every store carries a planner around the new year. They are there for a reason. Use them, use them every day. Have them open in the morning, whenever your time is that you can just have your cup of coffee, go through your list of things to do. It is there for you to use as a tool and it is a wonderful tool to have. Which leads me into tip number three. Plan your days, your weeks, your months, your year ahead of time, before it starts. Even if it's just in the morning before your day has really officially started, plan the day. Put in what you want to achieve. Put in how you're gonna achieve it. Put everything down and then put a little check mark when it's accomplished. Okay, tip number four, create a vision board. It's just a reminder of the things that you wanna accomplish. A reminder of, hey, I wanna get that done. When you have something that you see every day, it's like something gets implanted in your subconscious of, I'm going to achieve that. Your brain only really thinks about or sees things when you're actually aware of them. It's kind of hard to explain, but an example is, let's say you're looking for a new car and you really want a, I don't know, let's just say you want a red Toyota. Have you ever noticed that when you want a new car, you see that car everywhere, all the time? It's because your brain is actively pulling that information, I guess. I heard it explained once in a scientific way, and it made sense because you're aware of it, you're actually seeing it. Does that make sense? I don't know, really hard to explain. You can look into it further. But basically, if you have a reminder, a daily reminder that you are seeing, it activates a certain part of your brain to be on the lookout, so to speak, for that information and how to obtain that goal, how to move forward with that goal. I don't know, it's weird, but it works. You should try it. Okay, tip number five. I use this all the time. If you're having a hard time tackling those mundane daily tasks that you have to do day in and day out, like laundry and dishes, just like the cleaning, the prep work of cooking, all that stuff. If you're having a hard time getting that done, what really helps me is I will turn on a podcast, like a motivational podcast, or even sometimes I'll turn on a show. I really like criminal documentaries and I'll turn one of those on. And just even listening, not necessarily watching, but listening to those things really helps to take my mind off of what I'm doing and it makes it that much easier to accomplish that. And that time seems to just fly by and it's much easier to accomplish than just doing it in quiet with nothing to distract me. It's a good distraction. So that really helps me to tackle the really mundane tasks. Tip number six, knowing when to ask for help. I'll be the first to admit I am terrible at this. I am kind of a control freak and I'm one of those people where if I'm not doing it, it's, it's just not gonna get done. Like I, I would rather have a mountain of laundry than have somebody help me with that mountain of laundry. I, I will get to it when I get to it. I'm getting better. 
I've started to ask for help and get help with those little things that I just I just don't have the time to do or I can't do it, I'm not able to do it, whatever. I'm starting to learn that asking for help is not necessarily admitting defeat. It's just asking for help and it will actually help you accomplish those things that you need done, whether it be from your husband or hiring help, maybe with the house cleaning or whatever else, ask for help. And there's no shame in it. I know, easier said than done. Okay, tip number six, know your schedule. And what I mean by that is know when you are most productive. For example, for me, I am not very productive in the morning. I'm really sluggish. I like to just slowly get breakfast ready, clean up, get my cup of coffee, sit down, enjoy my cup of coffee. And while I'm doing that, I'll actually plan out my day. And I've learned that if I try to tackle things in the morning, it, it, I get burnt out. I can't, it's not productive. I do it halfway. It's, it's not the best time for me. For me, I am most productive. Peak time, probably around like one-ish. And that is when I can really go full force at all of the tasks that I really need to accomplish that day. I do it with the most energy, I do it with the most productivity, and I actually get things done. So know your personal schedule. If you are most productive early, early mornings, tackling those jobs, schedule your goals and tasks for the early morning hours. If you're more productive in the afternoon or evening like me, do it then. Don't force yourself to be most productive when you naturally don't want to be. I promise you, it will actually help you accomplish a lot more. Okay, tip number eight, don't force yourself to multitask. I know that sounds counterproductive, but it's not. If you focus on one task at a time and give that your all, give it all your energy, that one task will be completed fully and quicker than if you try and spread yourself too thin and do multiple things at once. Things don't seem to get done that way and I definitely don't seem to get done right. So try not to multitask, unless it's something like watching or listening to a show while doing a mundane task, like I said before. I don't know if that's technically multitasking, but you know what I mean. Don't go and fold half your load of laundry and then go and load half a load of dishes and then go back to your laundry. Focus on really completing and completing well the one task you're focused on. Tip number nine, and this is more for people who work from home or maybe stay at home moms, people like me who are home a lot of the time, and especially right now, most of us are home a lot of the time, but the tip is, Get dressed, get dressed into normal clothes, as comfortable as pajamas and sweats are. Try not to stay in them too much. And you know, brush your hair, brush your teeth, look presentable, even though, you know, we're not really presenting ourselves in front of anyone right now. It makes you feel better. It makes you more productive when you feel like you look like the part. Okay, last tip. Don't forget to take care of yourself. It's so important to not burn out. Even if you are on a roll and getting things done, if you are not taking the time out, taking a break, to really take care of yourself, you will burn out. And you will burn out to a point where you don't want anything. You don't want to do any of it because it's just overwhelming. It's too much and you haven't taken care of yourself first. It's like what they say when you're on an airplane, you have to put your oxygen on yourself first before you take care of anyone else. Because if you haven't taken care of yourself, you're not gonna be capable of taking care of anyone or anything else. That's super important. Those are my tips for goal setting for the year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.